What do you mean I stole from you? You stole auto animate, auto layout. Dude, you don't even have dark mode. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. What are we talking about? Always late. Now, even though I really like what Adobe XD has been doing lately with lot of files and embedded videos inside of XD, today, my friends, I'd like to talk to you about five reasons why I'm still choosing Figma as my main design software for 2022. As a designer, working and spending around 10 hours a day in front of my computer, it's really important for me to have dark mode. When using light mode for many hours, it really starts to hurt my eyes. I love how you can change the background in Figma to any color you like. You simply click on the background and under the design tab you can change it to any color you want. While in Figma you can add as many fields, strokes and effects to any shape, in Adobe XD you are only limited to one. The limitation is really annoying, because while you design you usually want to experiment with colors. But sometimes you just want to go back to the first couple you tried. So having the option to add multiple fills, borders and effects are really handy. And that brings me to reason number 3. In Figma you can add gradient color to stroke or line very easily just like you would with fills. You select your shape, click on the stroke color and change it to gradient. There is no simple way to do so in Adobe XD. You literally have to create a whole separate shape. Put it beneath the main shape and add a gradient fill to it. Sorry Adobe, there's no excuses for that. It's pretty basic. In Figma, you have the option to hover over any value and simply drag with your mouse. While in Adobe XD, you have to insert the value by hand or select the value and click on the up and down keys. This feature slows down your workflow, period. Figma is the clear winner here. Because of its ability to update documents that have been shared for review without republishing them, Figma works on browser. I don't have to keep updating design or prototyping changes, it's all live. Guys, these are just a few reasons I like Figma over XD at this point. I would like to hear from you. Which software you like better and why? 